Is this thing on? Are we are we live in an effect, Chavez Slovakia? So we are here today um, to watch vintage Gordon Ramsay. I, I'm actually really excited about this. This video was posted way, way back in 2012, and it just hit my DMs. A man had made a playlist, and they had mentioned, hey man, you know a lot of your Gordon Ramsay videos are blocked, da da da, we kind of talked about it a little bit. Uh, you know, that the they want to keep control of like the highlight bits or whatever. They're really cool about it in terms of not striking the channel, um, but they will block basically every video. So, um, the fucking greatest chef of all time with a company he works with doesn't want to let us watch highlights here. This is something I can get behind. Vintage Gordon Ramsay, I think it's something that we all can enjoy. Let's get into it, man. Uh, the, everybody starts from somewhere. I think this goes good hand in hand with the uh, evolution of Dave Chappelle video. Uh, maybe I should drop those on the same day. I'll, I'll shoot that one today too, and we'll drop these at the same day. I think those go well, well together. So let's get into it. Play. I'm a firm believer in starting the first service of the week off correctly. Do you understand? For me, like that has an indication of how the whole week's gonna go. Start off like a fucking asshole. Tonight will be shit. Tomorrow lunch will be shit. And Wednesday you won't be here. <laughs> Why did I send you down here to check on the air condition before the restaurant closed? <laughs> the air condition. Why did we send you down? <laughs> no, we so we're not in the fucking shit now, you fat bastard. Bro, well, it's the yeah. same shit. It's the same, just, just, just sneakier camera angles, bruh. This poor man is just like, who is this motherfucker talking to me like this? Who is this? That's Gordon fucking Ramsay, bro. Y'all didn't even know how big he was gonna be. He was already big back then. He's bigger now, man. Uh, or do you think it was just come down to have a cup of coffee? <laughs> to show how fat you were. So what's the point of you coming down? What was the point of you coming down here to check everything out? Answer the question. Why does nobody ever answer the question? Just answer it. I mean, the point sometimes isn't to answer it, but answer it. It's your brains and your f***ing <laughs> ass. He spent three hours here, locating all the buttons, checking out the air conditioning. He doesn't know where the f***ing panel is. Maitre D, he's a f***ing commie. That was, that was not bad. Maitre D, instead he's a comedy. That's pretty good. That, that's low-key bars right there. He's mad, but on the fly, he still got swag. That's nice. He's a commie. What are we gonna do now then, fatso? <laughs> Any ideas? That's uncalled for, Gordon. Y'all know what the maitre d' does, right? Uh, you know, y'all know what the maitre d' does. Do you not think it's your job to be responsible? Is it? Or do you think you just got to think about your f***ing cheese board all Jesus day long? Jesus fucking lord. 500 pound a week to think about a f***ing cheese board. <laughs> In the oh, kitchen, the staff wait. begin to wilt in the Bro, this guy, this, this announcer is way too confident, bro. He all made hands right now. In the kitchen, the staff begin to wilt in the 100 degree heat, and Gordon's approach isn't doing much for morale. <laughs> Mate, Simon, what's he doing? Why aren't you wiping the plates? Why aren't you wiping the plates? What's he doing, Mark, that jerk? Is he talking there, Jacob? Yeah. Up. Go, please, table six. Go, come on, Jan. Nice, nice. Cheese. Go, cappuccino. Are you? Yes. Come here, you. Come here, you. Why are you wiping the plates? Why are you wiping the plates? Dude, he thought he was going to forget, bro. He just waited. I got the shit in front of him right now. Let me get this out. Now get your ass over here and tell me why you're not wiping the goddamn plates. You know you got to wipe the motherfucking plates, bro. Yeah, that, that's what that's what S plus means right here. Every time there's food in the past, where should it be? On the, the past. Yes. Stay here. Next time, you're out. Yes. Okay? Yes. Hey, young man. That's three times in half an hour we're looking for you. Next time, finish. Okay? Hey, big boy. Your choice. You want to stand there talking to the kitchen boards <laughs> all night? Or standing here doing your job. What do you prefer? Stay here. Well, stay here. Yeah. Every time there's food on the past, on the past. You got that ass. It's important. Got that ass. How many people can take that right now? I know probably 15 people right now that probably quit their job if somebody talked to them like that about doing their job better. Know what I mean? And in some places I'd be like, yeah, you're right, maybe they should be nicer or whatever. And other times I'm just like, but like, was you doing your job though? Like, are you doing your job? Like, are you really on it? Are you really taking it serious? Because at a certain point, I kind of understand when you're just like on people about doing shit the right way. You're not gonna get anywhere by being mediocre. Like it's not good enough. If it's not good enough, it's not good enough. Why are you expecting to be subpar? And if that's what you want to do, go somewhere else, right? You need a you need everybody to be on the same page. And I think 
you know, he's talking about morale and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just like, but should morale be high if y'all are fucking up? Like, shouldn't people feel like they should do better and be better? And I'm sure on the side, like, you've seen Gordon Ramsay in all styles of life. Like, the guy's a cool dude everywhere else. So, like, why does also his business have to be something that he's nice about? You know what I mean? Not and it's, it's not like an asshole. Like, he's not, like, coming to people and being messy about people or whatever. It's, like, straight to everybody's face, man to man. And, like, that shit is respectable. I think some people also get that shit confused when they try to go behind people's back and act like it's the same thing. That shit ain't the same thing. You know what I mean? On edge because that'll have a feel in the dining room. The rest of the staff will be on edge. They'll be slightly nervous. They'll be waiting for a mistake to happen. So, um, you've got to control it and make your staff feel relaxed and composed uh, on dealing with such a big occasion. One balancing, one pitching. Hey guys, you know this is for you. This place is disgusting. Come on, you. Let's go, you donkey. <laughs> Darren, have you got any fucking initiative, yeah? Henry, have you? Clean the fucking place, you dirty bastard. <laughs> Having simmered in tension all evening, Gordon Ramsay finally explodes. Uh-oh. What's uh -oh. going on? Uh, okay, all right. So now we're finally at the explosion. This is very BBC style, like slow rolling. You know, not just like highlight clips back to back. Let's show you the whole build up and shit. Hey, you. What is going on? One Ravelli, one fucking Fogger. Hey, you. Arsehole, you lost it again. You lost it again. What's your big deal? Why don't you fuck off home then? Go on, fuck off home. Hey, arsehole. Why don't you fuck off home then? Why did you fuck off home? Oh no. Why are you fing up? Have you lost it? I fing wake up, dickhead. What's the big deal? What about anyone fing so too far off? Do you want to go home and cry to mummy again? Like a big fing ass? <laughs> Guy puts himself in this shit the kitchen, stands there bubbling like a fing baby. <laughs> Sorry, Gordon. You got any bite back as a guy? You got any bollocks, you? Have you fk? As far as I'm concerned, they're your asshole. Oh my lord. That. God. It's just when you slowly just. You see how everybody else just like get doing their job. Back in, Simon. What's he doing, Mark? Four fucking bass, one study Fagra. One Ravi early, and he hadn't got the fucking Omdiv on. What's going on in your mind, you? What's going on in your well, mind? Well, he's on his head for real now. What is it then? Can't keep up? Tell me then. Your mind back in the f***ing beach again, is it? <laughs> is, it back? Unbelievable. is it back in the beach? Wake up. Or next time, don't even set the alarm clock. Stay in your f***ing piss. Do you mind stop, stop knocking me like a fucking punch bag? Do you understand? Because I'm going to lash out. Do you understand? <laughs> you, you, do you get it? Ramsey's attempt at relaxing the staff is not It working. is not working, indeed. Nope, it is a definite fail on that end. Henry, Owen's partner on the garnish, has overcooked the artichokes and held up another table. And you see, you, you, yeah, come on the pass a minute. On the pass. You send me six... Fucking main courses like that again, and I'll, I'll grab you by the fucking scruff of the neck and I'll throw you on the street. Do you understand? Because you're not just fucking up a table of two there. We're sending six main courses. You so I had all the lamb back and all the fucking pigeon back for you. Why? Can you cook an artichoke? Yes, sir. Yeah, can you cook an artichoke? How old are you? He's 24 years old. How many 24 year olds do you think could take that shit? How many? Can I don't cook think an artichoke. Any. You, you can Is it a breeding ground or a weeding ground? Are you weeding out the weak or are you breeding stronger chefs? That's what I've always tried to figure out with this. I don't really cook like that, so I don't know how it works with cooking. With football, it's definitely like a weeding ground. Like you weed out the ones who can't take it or you let people know who have potential that if they don't meet their potential every day and handle the stress, they're just going to be out. But I can't figure out with chefs if it's making you a better chef or if it's just seeing if you can handle the stress or not so I know if I have to put somebody else there. Like what? Like a <laughs> God, I'm looking at him. Because this is a fucking laughing stop. This is a, this is a dream. This is a fucking, this is a piss take. Get with it, dickhead. 
Just uh, you, come here a minute. Oh, he's come pulling here, another one. one. We're going to end after this one. Pull another one. Hey, come here. I've just filled out, uh, Ma, I've just filled out a form to get these salaries, these bank in the sand. Do you know what I've made, put this one down as? This guy's a chef of party. Yeah. Do you know what he is? He's a chef of party as well. You are from now on a commie, and you are a fucking commie. Don't like that. Give me a notice and fuck off. Commie, commie. Now fuck off. They're done. Yeah, and young man, you can't stand the salary, not enough money. Do you know what you can do? Write your fucking notice and fucking ride off with pleasure. When I turn on some I wash my fucking hands. Oh, no. Okay, Commie? Feel happy now? Less stressed? A little cry? Chef to party? Ma. Ma. Chef to party? Oh, shit the party. I don't even really know what he's saying there. Shit the party? The paper, what do you say? I don't give a fuck if you go, you know that. I'll never miss dickheads. I know he's saying that he doesn't care if they leave or not. That, that like washing your hands with people is uh, very good. It's important to make the staff relaxed and composed. Gordon Ramsay. I'm delirious from laughing so hard. Yeah, for real though. <laughs> yeah, that, uh... His attempts to relax the uh, relax the staff, I, I don't know. I, I think he's just weeding out the week because there's zero relaxing going on here in this kitchen. If you try to be relaxed and, and calm during this kind of situation with Gordon Ramsay, apparently with a big night going on, you, you, you're SOL, bro. You got to be on your shit. This is a high stakes, high stress situation. I don't know what the fuck the... the announcer is talking about with that. I have no idea what he's talking about. I've seen Gordon Ramsay content for so long, it like doesn't even phase me to see this shit happen. I just like watching it happen to different people to see what they do. But like the standard is there. Like you gotta know what you got yourself into. I don't know what you mean. Like I think I think he knows what he's doing when he talks about control with the staff though. Like Gordon, I think he knows what he's talking about, but I don't think it's calm and relaxed. We'll end it here, of course, just check to see if the video's even going to be up, see if people are going to watch it. Then we'll come back for another part a little bit later on in the month. But thank you guys for rolling through with this shit. It's your boy Chavez here. I'm a husband now. I'll see y'all. Peace.